What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Man Guide. Let's get straight into it. You get it now? So they're always projecting their fears onto women about hitting the wall because they are at the wall. Bestie, I'm telling you, there is no wall for women. Women are desirable at any and all ages. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> you let me know in the comments. Do you agree with that? I completely disagree. Waves. Most of the time, uh -oh. I'm okay. And then it comes and hits me like nobody's business. And honestly, I've been feeling like this a lot lately. It, it's love. She reminds me of those antiques that your grandma would have. <laughs> like even, even the dress that she's wearing, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I am, I'm, tired. What I'm, talking about. I'm tired of doing it myself. I'm tired of being alone. I want to share my life with someone. I am just freaking tired. Share your life, honey. You're half a hundred. Shots fired! Shots fired! You're literally half a hundred talking about sharing your life. Your life has been shared. I want to be in love. I want to share my life with someone. I want to feel the joys. I want to feel, have my hands held. I want to be held. I want to kiss. I want to support. I want, I want my person. You had your chance. Why is it so hard to find your person? Because you blew it. Yeah, you know, it's really hard when love, love is the, the one thing you can't force. You can't, you can't make it happen. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I'm so ready. And I have a beautiful life waiting for the perfect man to show up. But where is he? I'm 53. Damn! And I just can't believe that I'm sitting here and it has been several years. I, I think it was over a year I had a date and then it's been several years since then. Where are all the good men? There we go. That are ready and want to build a beautiful life together. For real. The perfect man got married when you were 26. I mean, facts, though. We're all the good men. I hate this connotation. Oh. I hate this verbiage. If we're the good men, like a good man, a good, smart man is going to come wife up a woman that's half a hundred? Shots fired! Shots fired! If that's a good man, then what's a great man? Where are you? Not looking for half a hundred year old women. Oh, no, thank you, Grandma. I'm, I'm fine. Thank you, though. Vid 1. This woman is 30 years too late. She still maintains the same delusional mentality yeah. as they believe they deserve love. Mm -hmm. Never realizing relationships and love take real effort, not narcissistic gaslighting on social media. You can tell she was pretty good looking when she was younger, and now at 50... Yeah, she's aged pretty gracefully. I'd say the woman's probably, probably had a prime, you know what I mean? But the thing is, she blew it! And you expect men to come in and pick up the pieces from a life that you blew? <laughs> I, I see what you guys are thinking. <laughs> and I'm just sat here and I'm just like, why does nobody want me? Why? Why am I not in? A, why am I not in a relationship? And... It's the plastic surgery. I'm gonna keep it a buck. When men see fun bags bigger than their heads, <laughs> we already put you in the fun only category. Shots fired! Shots fired! And we are not looking to wife up women with fun bags as big as melons in September. I'm mean, just keep. I don't know if that's when they're right, but <laughs> it just sounded good. But I mean, like, like, let me know in the comments. Do you like to go for women with a lot of plastic surgery? What it screams to me is insecurity and entitlement. So like, her boobs are so big she probably can't even see her freaking toes, and then she's got her lips done. Like, stop it. I know. I just spent like an hour scrolling through my own TikTok videos, and honestly, I can't find a single reason why I'm not married yet i can <laughs> just like to clarify that i'm single by choice i bet <laughs> what up, to my name is Kristen. i am 30 and i am single and if you're anything like my mom you probably want to know why are you still single yeah, what's wrong with you if this isn't proof that it's totally okay not to be married by 30 and to live life on a completely different timeline i'm in the sahara desert with 18 incredible women about to go ride camels in the sunset. <laughs> but, but yet you have to be on social media to gloat about it. <laughs> <laughs> All these women are destined to be. Just go ahead and be a single mom, honey. <laughs> Solo traveling. I've been crying on and off for a little bit now, and I'm just. I want to be a mom. 
so bad. Like, I want to be pregnant so bad and grow a human. And I just want to take care of... I just want to be a mom so bad. And I just wish I could be one right now. Well... Women are literally biologically designed to have children. People yeah. ridicule that and mock that. They say, oh, you know, you want the women barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. You think they're baby machines. It's like, yeah, I mean, that's like <laughs> that's what they're made to do. That's what Sorry. their hormones are about. That's what their brains are about. I mean, people, it's going to be devastating in this century. All these women that were lied to about that are going to turn 30, 35, 40, no eggs, no husband, no family, ugly. No eggs. <laughs> going to be millions of them, and they're going to be Facts. miserable, and they're going to take it out on us. God help us. Yeah. You know. And He's got a good point. This is a really, really good point because I mean they are taking it out on us. Capable of casual hookups anymore, you guys. Yeah, this is another case of a woman telling her bop lore. She's a runner. She's a track star. Let's hear it out. Clearly, I hadn't hooked up with anyone for four months, um, which is like the longest it's been probably since I've been sexually active. Um, yeah, and I gave in and I let my guard down and holy fuck, sex is really sacred. <laughs> I'm a little bit mad at myself that I um, shared it so willy-nilly. Holy fuck, I did not realize how much I was. I have been craving a really deep love. That Bob Lore's serious. <laughs> I'm a sensitive girl, you guys. Holy shit. Um, but now I know. <laughs> Hookups are not for me. Aww. I used to be well too bad you already got ran. <laughs> All it took was 17 miles of pen to realize it wasn't for me. <laughs> like a year ago, if you asked me all the names of the people I hooked up with, I couldn't tell you. Oof. But Stupid. yeah, wow. Um, got the tree branch on the arm. This is some of the dumbest tattoos I've ever seen. The sacred. Should have thought of that earlier. She belongs to the street. She most likely became sexually active around 16. Let's have a look at some comments. Today I learned that women hit the wall at 35 years old. Mm -hmm. So I'm about to hit the wall next year? Is it cold there? Is it at least furnished? <laughs> Love, what's that gonna do? Please. It's all jokes and women power until they actually looking at themselves in the mirror 10 years later. Facts, honey. The attention is still being soaked up from the simps as she mocks her future self on social media. Women and simps cheer her on, real men calling her out with facts. Who do you think they will listen to for the next five, ten years well, the thing is, honey, nobody's coming to save a woman that's that old. 35 years old? No dude's like, man, where are the 35-year-old women at? Nobody's asking that. So, but to be what's, honest, wrong, but what's wrong with you? Godfather, right here. Well, to be honest, in my 20s, what I was doing was just dating for fun. She's a runner, dating, she's a track star. I'm going to be really blunt. Dating, like, you know, rappers, athletes, and... Pookie and Ray Ray. A generalized broad term that describes societal nonconformists, usually ex-convicts, jobless, unfaithful, ghetto tricks, incapable of social crisis, capable <laughs> <laughs> Absentee father, baby daddy, or unwed mothers, the inmate population, the drug dealers and hustlers on the streets are examples of pookies and ray rays. I had no idea. By time I got I I was ready to sit down, I was already in my thirties and I'm like, oh shit, like <laughs> I've done give away my most precious years to just partying and being on the scene and now that i'm in my 30s <laughs> i'm trying to date and i really don't know what i like you like getting ran she's, she's a runner on. she's a track star. i'm trying to figure out what do i like because for the past being four, ran by men that's what you that's what you did that's all you know for years i've been engaged okay. twice Oof. and there weren't there weren't the ones have you been in therapy yes i'm in therapy now let me ask you a question that you probably haven't asked yourself because thank you for being honest because I was going to get to it anyway. The reason why below bare minimal low effort men love to scare us with the prospect of being alone, of being worthless, is because they are projecting their fears of being alone and it. worthless. They simply cannot fathom that women are choosing to be single because a man who does not have access to women is a loser as per the rules of the games of men. They cannot understand. Uh, unequivocally as a man, I, I, do, I don't think of it that way and I think most men would agree and that they are not trophies in the world of women. Do you get it now? That's why they're always projecting, you're gonna hit the wall, you're gonna be worthless, so many bodies, you're not even a virgin. Like, that- All I'm saying is we're just throwing rocks and if it hits you, holla. Shots fired! So, Shots fired! 
this woman right here is a, a pure testament of like she's triggered by this, which is why she had to buy this microphone off of Timu, <laughs> and she had to get on TikTok and complain about it. That's why, because they are projecting their fears of being worthless, of being alone. I read this TikTok and I'll credit her here. She said that men love to scare women about hitting the wall because they're projecting their own fears of being at the wall because men are born at the wall. Then they have to prove themselves to get out of the wall. Do you get it now? So they're always projecting their fears onto women about hitting the wall because they are at the wall. Bestie, I'm telling you, there is no wall for women. <laughs> women are desirable at any and all ages. Oof. Now you know. We can clear. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think women are desirable at any and all ages? Any and all ages. Not just not just young, not just old. Any and all. Let me know in the comments. We have a lot of men that watch the channel. I feel like this would be a good um, this would be a good testament and a good test pool, a litmus test, as your science teacher might even have said, um, of just to see, you know, what the real gauge on this is. Personally, I think once you hit the wall, it's a wrap, and then you belong to the streets. Sorry. Tonight, this one again with a matchmaker, only because like I've kind of stopped doing Bumble. I'm 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 over it for now. Um, for now. Just to recap, the last couple with the matchmaker on paper they were good, like, but both of them weren't interested. And I, the first one I wasn't, I knew he wasn't interested, so whatever. Big the second bag, one, big look, bag, I'm willing to go on a second bag, date. The first bag. date though was awkward, so if I'm not totally appalled by them like i'm cool to go out again let's see how it feels these guys are not what cool. if they're totally appalled by you oh, shit. Oh, why do shit. women never seem to think about that really cool to go out again so um we will wrap that up but tonight um you know i all i think about is it's 11 in the morning i have to wash my hair today some at some time i have a full day of meetings it just sounds, I'm exhausted already just to go out and just to do another Wait, bit a of- a full day of meetings and you started your day at 11 a.m.? Doesn't sound like a full day, it sounds like a half day. You know, chit chat, niceties with someone I don't know. Um, well, this is what you wanted. What else are you gonna do? Do you expect a man to be like Jasmine and Aladdin? Like he's just gonna come sweep you off your feet? Somebody, I, so I make that reference a lot in videos and somebody actually opened my eyes. Like like Aladdin did, he can show Jasmine a, a whole new world. A whole new world. Somebody showed me a whole new world in here and they said, you know what? Jasmine met Aladdin when he was a freaking bum. I totally forgot he was a bum. He wasn't even a prince. <laughs> but a lot of you ladies would still next. Aladdin! It's crazy to me. I guess if we had a magic carpet, maybe they'd say yeah. It's hard to get excited when the last couple have been fine, but nothing overwhelming and nothing's really come of it. So, all right, I'm gonna go through a full day of meetings and then I'll, I'll circle back. All right, so I've been through my day of meetings. Those are done, thankfully. I squeeze in I'm a shot. If you've been in the corporate world, meetings are cake. Meetings are the easiest thing ever. You just sit there and listen to people talk. Hour, and now my hair is setting and I am going to put on some makeup. So here we go. All right. As per normal, I know nothing about him except that he's driven. He's the top of his company. He makes time for his family and friends. So I think he's going to be a type A overachiever, which I'm okay with. And he probably doesn't want a big back. <laughs> and I'm one with three chins. I'm just saying most of these men that are super type A overachievers, top of the top of the company, don't want big women. Um, and then what's our code names tonight? Lucy and Ricky. I'm Lucy. He's Ricky. These are always fun. The place we're going to, uh, again, she's matchmaker's got it on. She's, this is really cute. It's an Encino, um, which is not far from me cause I'm in the bow. Uh, and it looks super cute. And I'm actually like, you know, I'm getting some good, good restaurant recommendations out of these. So, I mean, uh, hopefully find something more than that, but at least these matchmakers are printing money with these delusional women and these rich men. That, that's that's all it is. Is they're just saying, "Hey, you pay us to be a matchmaker. We'll get you and another high overachieving guy, or the, a guy that's literally like cream of the crop, has lay of the land. Maybe he just doesn't have time to go out to the market, or never. He might have never sharpened his skills. And then they put this guy in front of a chick like this. Like, are you kidding me? Come on. Can you imagine? You've been working your butt off. You're in your late 40s, early 50s. You get with a matchmaker. You're ma you've been making six figures for years. You have a nice house. you got a BMW in the yard. you got a pool in the backyard. And then a matchmaker gets you, and she sets you up with that. Stupid. Come on, dude. I'm getting some good restaurant recommendations. Okay. Um, the fit is not unlike anything else you've ever seen, so... Show the fit. Here I go. 
It's always a red flag when it's neck up photos for me. This one was a good one. This one, this one, this one was fun. Um, he is from Belgium. He uh, played professional football, soccer for years in Europe and in Brazil. He does real estate development. He's really funny. We had oh, some really funny little jokes. He's about the next year. He has a nice car. That helps. Yeah. So um, I will keep you posted on this one. This could be this could be something interesting. Okay. Another thing that's terrible about dating in your 30s is, and just dating in general. Okay. so I She looks like one of the characters from Fraggle Rock. Shots fired! Shots fired! Did you guys ever watch Fraggle Rock? You know what? Let's get into it. You guys know I, I, I live react to these. So um, let's get into this Fraggle Rockness right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, I'm telling you, Fraggle Rock. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Fraggle Rock, dude. I'm, I, dude, I'm going straight to hell. In this guy in this app, and he said something about sending him a selfie to like know that I'm real or something. I don't know why people are so weird about that. Like, I have photos, and I'm. Easily Googleable, like I'm verified Googleable. on social platforms. Okay, so he sent me like a selfie like this, laying in bed, and it's been like gross out, and I've just been lazy. So I was laying down, and I kind of was like, and you know, I have no makeup on. I'm wearing like a t-shirt, whatever. Big bag, big bag. He literally views the photo and then unmatches me. <laughs> <laughs> like the photos on my. On my um, profile, like, I barely have foundation on in most of them. But, like, I don't think I look that bad. Uh Newsflash! You do! Okay, this is by no means a hot take, but I have major beef with the dating app Raya because, like, no one talks on there. No one talks. It's basically an Instagram for hot people. And well, when I got on there, I was like, oh, wonderful. I have access to a new world. A new portal opened, if you will. Um, and it's all well and great. We're, oh, we're seeing celebs. We're seeing, like, D-listers, whatever. Um, and I don't know what's not working about this. <laughs> I want to know success stories because it ain't working for your girl. And maybe I'm just an average Jane over here. You are. And I can take that. Okay. I can take that and I can recognize it. Um don't but expect over also, don't don't expect above after average results when you're an average Jane, a self-proclaimed average Jane at that. So let's hear what she has to say. Like what's going on with the geography? Because you're serving me people in like Stockholm, Sweden, and like what am I gonna do? Like fly to Sweden to meet this like gorgeous man? Maybe. Better pack Maybe your I will. bags, honey. Maybe I will. I mean, on second thought, maybe I will. But no, like, you'll, you'll just continue to cry on TikTok. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> You're just going to stay on this app and cry as much as you can. You know, there needs to be like a hello first. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm, ju I'm just going to keep it a buck. Life is a mirror, not a window. If you're not happy with the results, you really got to look at yourself, man. You really got to look at yourself. This is, what, this is what us as men, we understand from the jump. From day one, we get it. We understand that everything that happens to us is our fault. Nobody's going to save us. It's, it's up to me to make a change. It's up to me to make a decision to get out of the funk that I'm in. And I think us as men, most of the time, we just take charge of it. And we just have to take it on the chin. Like a lot of our buddies, and let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Do you complain a lot to your buddies about your problems? Personally, I don't. I don't talk to my buddies about my problems. I internalize them. I look online and I go figure it out. There's a quote by Tony Robbins that has saved me. I, 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 uh, I think I heard this like a decade ago, but it's resourcefulness is the only resource. And what that means is, is if you have a hurdle in your life, you have something coming up that you want to figure out, just go be resourceful and figure it out. What did they have to do a thousand years ago? Go look at books, go talk to people, go do the same thing. Resourcefulness is the only resource. Stop waiting for people to help you. Stop waiting for things to happen. Go out there and figure it out. More than likely, if you've had this problem, somebody else has had this exact same problem. So go out there and figure it out. It's a great quote, memorize it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Loki, did you have fun today? 
Bro, he's been so tired today. I don't know what it is. I think it's because we warm out playing fetch earlier. Uh, but don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. It's in the description. It makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. The Discord's been going crazy. You guys have been buying copies, so I really do appreciate you guys. Join the Discord as well. Uh, we have an offline community. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.